we all want to have faith and be strong in faith. We want to have direction from God. We want to be strong in character and and in the Spirit and in the Word. We want to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. We want to have fresh revelation and freedom and breakthroughs. All these good things, right? That's where we're headed. Hey, ihr Lieben, it's Jesch hier, jeschelbeuten.com, a German-English based here in America. And this channel is all about helping you go from life struggles to spiritual empowerment. Now, this video is exactly about that mission. I'm going to explain to you what this channel is for and where this journey is going. Now, my ultimate goal for you is to reach spiritual empowerment and spiritual wholeness. In fact, that's my goal for myself, right? We all want to get there. We all want to have faith and be strong in faith. We want to have direction from God. We want to be strong in character and and in the spirit and in the word. We want to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. We want to have fresh revelation and freedom and breakthroughs, all these good things, right? That's where we're headed. Now, I'm not there 100% yet myself, but I'm getting there. I'm in the process and this channel is basically just taking you along and teaching you what God is teaching me. It's like, follow me as I follow Christ. So don't get me wrong, I'm not teaching or, or speaking here from a standpoint of, look at me, I'm the wise master, you know, my Padawan sit down and listen to my wisdom. <laughs> no, that's not what it is about. I'm Like I said, I'm just trying to give what God has given me. Now to get to the spiritual empowerment and wholeness, there are just a few steps and few building blocks that we need to have that good, awesome foundation that God wants for us to be successful. And here are some things that I came up with that God has given me already and is in the process of building and I know I still need to grow in like majorly. Now obviously this whole process starts with salvation, with Jesus having a revelation of Jesus and an ongoing revelation of Jesus. Obviously that's tied into the fear of the Lord and having a real vibrant and living relationship with Jesus. We need to be strong in the word. We need to have continuous revelation out of the word and grow in God, obviously, but in, in this kind of relational and word kind of aspect. Then a big, big cornerstone and building block, I believe, is healing and deliverance, getting breakthroughs in areas where you're bound in, where I'm bound in or was bound in, um, where we, we need just breakthroughs and deliverance and healing because of the garbage we have from the past or stuff we carry from our family line maybe. And that's a big building block. Now we need to have a growth mindset, a mindset of, okay, every day I'm going to go forward. I'm going to build whatever in the word of God, in this area, in this gifting. And, you know, I'm improving every day just a little bit forward which also is connected to this possibility mindset and possibility thinking. Not the thinking of, oh, woe is me, you know, what will I do? God, can you actually use me? Ah, I'm in this situation, what's going to happen? No, hope and possibility. Like we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. With God, all things are possible. You know, this kind of mindset, the, the future mindset, forward mindset, especially in times as we're in right now. Now it's important that we learn how to help ourselves. What I mean is that we learn the tools and the basics of, okay, I have a question, maybe a spiritual question and a theological question, a general question about certain giftings and areas in my life. Okay, what do I do now? Like, where do I go to find my answer? And those are real skills that are important when you want to be able to give and want to lead others. That's another building block. Leadership, being able to lead, being a mentor and mentoring others, mentoring mentees, having mentees, but also following a mentor, you know, listening to a mentor. So that whole leadership, humility and f following mindset is very important as well. Obviously, very important also to have the spiritual empowerment is the spiritual empowerment like the spiritual charismatic aspect of, you know, Holy Spirit in this whole realm. 
being filled with the power of God, with the anointing, with this revival that God is pouring out in this season. Another building block is knowing your giftings, having direction in life, knowing where you're talented and you're gifted in. This is something God is speaking to me in this season that I believe is very important to reach this wholeness, spiritual wholeness and just effectiveness in God. And then we need to have general wisdom, understanding and knowledge. Now, what I mean by that is the biblical meaning, the Proverbs meaning. Obviously, wisdom, understanding, knowledge includes the whole Bible part, right? The whole spiritual God aspect of wisdom, knowledge, understanding about the Bible, his commandments, uh, God, Jesus, you know, the whole thing. But I believe Solomon also meant general knowledge, general understanding, general wisdom. For example, just the fact that we're able to read, right? We need this knowledge. We need that understanding to read, to be able to receive Bible knowledge, right? Well, we need to know how to write. We need to know how to do these videos and, and put it up to, on YouTube, this general knowledge. Why? Because we want to build the kingdom of God. So we need those things, those building blocks. We need those things to be effective builders of the kingdom of God. But more important than having those specific knowledges and specific insights is knowing how to get there. Like having the tools, like how what books should I read or shouldn't I read? What videos should I watch and shouldn't I watch? You know, where's where's the thin line of, okay, this is too carnal, too worldly, and God, I need your grace here. I need your revelation here. Like those things are really good to know, right? And all those things that I just mentioned are things that God has worked out in parts, has taught me in, and I, you know, partly also still need to grow in. Those are the things basically I came up with that I needed to have this spiritual empowerment and wholeness and be successful building the kingdom of God. See, I really believe that we're heading into a season, into a time frame where we need to be Noah's, like a hybrid of Daniel's and Joseph's combined with the apostles, like having this knowledge, understanding, wisdom to operate in the world but not be off the world you know have this fear of God be obedient to God be faithful to God in the area you're in but at the same time be supernaturally empowered by the Holy Spirit so having the the kind of like carnal normal spiritual empowerment in knowledge and wisdom and understanding on one hand, but also have this anointing that works in signs, wonders and miracles. And the person that I see ha working in both actually is Jesus. You know, he worked as a carpenter, he worked in the world, but also was anointed of God, was filled with the Holy Spirit to walk in signs, wonders and miracles. But also Noah, Noah, who was in the world just providing for his family, but also heard from God as a prophet and told the world, hey guys, this is going to happen. So I believe we have to have both. And here are the things that I believe God wants us to have to reach that level of empowerment and wholeness in God. If you're ready to learn with me as I learn from God and learn in these areas, if you're ready to follow me as I follow Christ, then you can do this in three ways. Obviously, the first one is this channel that you're watching right now. The videos that I'm posting, you can subscribe, hit the bell button so you're being notified when I upload new videos. But also you can uh, read on my website articles that I'm writing and tools that I'm posting and recommendations. Uh, much more information there. And you can sign up for my newsletter that I'm sending out every week. You can find this also on my website or you go to yeshuaboyton.com slash newsletter. Just sign up and you will receive weekly newsletters where I share encouraging things that get you to the spiritual empowerment and wholeness that I just talked about. I'm going to share encouraging videos or sermons or revelations that God gave me, uh, maybe some links that are super helpful, encouraging, maybe some book recommendations, stuff like that. That's the stuff that you're receiving in the newsletter. Those are the three ways you can follow me as I follow Christ online through this channel, my website and the newsletter. I'm super stoked that you're still in this video, that you're still watching. I thank you so much for your time. And I pray that God would really touch you and use you and empower you 
and take you with me into this process of spiritual empowerment and spiritual wholeness. Hey, there is a hope, there is a future, and God has a plan for you. And we all are a work in progress and need to learn more from God. Well, this is what this channel is all about. And I'm going to see you in the next video or on my website or in the newsletter. Be blessed.